Alrighty, what's up guys? So here we are today and got you guys uh, what's essentially a pretty simple stencil um, but one that could be really time consuming to cut out if you have to cut it out on your own. Um, but I'm also going to walk you guys uh, through just how to achieve a quick and easy, um, you know, like a diamond plate type of pattern. Um, and um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and open this up and I'll uh, show you guys what this stencil comes with. Let me grab a chair, switch this camera over. Um, what's up in the chat there? I see our non custom lures. We see Oz Newton, W1 Designs. What's up, Steven Ward, Skull Squad? What's up, all chance? All time channel, the Skull Squad, son. All right, uh, <laughs> let's see here, this one? Uh, no, that's not it. That'll work. Okay. So, pull up my chair here. My hand in dindy. That's a cool shirt. Oh yeah, so this shirt here, this is the, the Airbrush Life, or Airbrush Daily shirt, and I already ripped mine like a dummy. I think I got it caught in the fence the other day doing stuff. But it's basically, you know, you wake up, you got some coffee, you poop, you airbrush, then you sleep. Repeat it every day. Available on the mikesbrush.com if you're interested in that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Now if you're not uh, familiar with the Mike's Brush uh, stencils, we'll, we'll walk you through this. Says you need a new chair. Now I like my chair. This is like a nice comfy chair and then the back, it's like a well-made quality chair. It just has a lot of overspray on it. And it, it is pretty old, but it's like a good quality chair. I've actually gone through a few chairs, but this one's, this one's pretty nice. Anyways, um, so our stencils are six mil Mylar on one side and they come with a paper, um, like a paper side on the other side. A lot of people ask, what is the paper side for? So I actually recommend you spray on the paper side. So the paper side's kind of semi-absorbent. Um, so if you're working with like reduced paints and stuff like that, it'll just help absorb some of that, uh, you know, some of that quick wetness that, that might happen just from doing some quick sprays. Um, so if you get that a lot, like on the edges of your, your stencils, uh, this might help. Um, so it has a paper side, plastic side on the other side, It'll last you pretty much forever as long as you take care of it. Obviously, the paper side, I'll, once you're going to clean it or something, if you can clean it ex like really heavily, uh, this paper side might not last. Uh, but there is, you know, it's just a you know, mylar stencil on the other side. It is pretty thick. This set will include three different sizes, so you'll be prepared for any different projects. So this is kind of like your standard, like you want to make it look like an actual diamond plate metal sheet. This is probably the correct size for that. Um, then from that, it's like maybe you're doing like hats um, or smaller items like that, hats, tumblers, that kind of stuff, and you want to do some some diamond plate, and you've got some of that. And then you got uh, a nice small one. So again, if you're doing like shoes, um, you know, smaller items like you know maybe cell phone cases, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, all that stuff uh, here. Will we'll come in handy with this one. So this one's like really small. You can see by my finger, you know. But uh, today, we'll just keep it easy. And uh, just so you guys can see the most clearest, we'll use the biggest one here. And I'll just outline an area here. And we have these already kind of pre pre mask areas here. I'm not going to be measuring anything out, but we'll try to make it a decent size area. You're going to need a few colors today. I mean, a few colors helps. Um, silver, gray, uh, some black, some white. Um, works pretty good. So we're going to start off by putting a gray base. Um, we'll build it from there. I'll walk you guys through the whole entire process. Dropping your name on Twitch. Turns out they've already heard of you. Why are you dropping my name? Don't be dropping my name like you know me, son. 
On Twitch of all places? What's going on on Twitch? Don't make no sense. Alright. <clears throat> so here we have our stencil. Pretty easy. It's going to cover that whole entire area. Obviously, if you need to cover a bigger area, you can just line it up. You know, if you have the edge here, you line up the other edge and continue on. Um, and we're going to start real simply by just covering this area in some gray. Just giving ourselves a gray base. today so I'm just gonna do a few really light coats tips while you're laying down this base um, is you can take an edge like a straight edge uh, I have one here just take a straight edge like this and lay down some streaks and this is going to be the base of our metal plate here just want to give it a little bit of like a metallic look so we'll do some streaks like that we'll bring in some nice freehand kind of lines coming in nothing too crazy base there guys good luck nothing too wild and we're just gonna lay our stencil into place and um, I highly recommend that if you are gonna do this diamond plate stuff there's kind of one way of making it look super nice super easy um, and that is by using the actual lighting and maybe doing a shadow as you're going. So I'm going to load up some black here. I have some black loaded up. Turn down this pressure a little bit. Okay. And all I'm going to do is just try to hit this underside. Just a quick little stroke. Nothing too wild. Also, I forgot about the silver. So in this step here, I'm going to just do gray because I don't want to have to load up silver and all that, take more of your time. But if you want to lay some silver, give it a more metallic effect, you can. Um, we're just going to do the gray. It looks, it looks pretty good both ways, but if you want to have that shine in the sun, especially if you're doing like a, like a motorcycle tank or something like that, I definitely recommend some silver. But again, I'm just going to go through here. We're just going to hit those bottom areas. Can be. Time consuming. Depending on how quick you are. on metal I highly recommend you use some magnets we're working on paper today so we can use no magnets today I really should set up a metal board but 
because I really like painting on my on my easel because the ventilation's right there, so I don't have to worry about overspray too much. So that's all we've done is just kind of laid laid a shadow on the bottom side of all these, and then all I'm gonna do is uh, take a little bit of what the good old what. Dump this gray out. We don't want to be needing that gray anymore. here so I'm just gonna hit all the top sides of this It look raised now if you're doing this on like a uh, like a hard surface like a, a tank or something I highly recommend you just stay in really close like this and add a really nice clean highlight and if you have magnets highly recommend using the magnets you want a really nice sharp edge especially on the white, because you want it to be super pronounced when you peel this up, right? So you'll see here that you have your black areas, but that white is what kind of gives it that nice 3D look, that 3D effect, like these are kind of raised up. So we'll lay this back down right where it was. Continue on. diamond plate area. We'll take some black, bring in some nice little effects going across here. And then what you can do too is just apply a little bit of a shadow right underneath. Straight 
judge. Just bring in some nice Yes, just some nice shiny spots here. Super simple, super easy. Now, if I just want to, you know what? Let's get some silver out. I'll just lay a, a coat of silver over this because that's all it really needs. Um, just to give it the ultimate look. And I mean, we've only been live like less than 20 minutes, but it is a video for a stencil, so. show up on camera but hopefully it does well you know what once we unpeel it it's gonna definitely show because I could already see it sparkling sparkle sparkle gray over it definitely made it look nice now here in person it looks really cool because I could actually see the metallic so it gives it even that extra that extra extra so if you've been interested in, in doing that diamond plate effect um, super easy super simple and then you could use that for all your projects so it's usually really good out of background if you're doing like something and then you do this like around the outside of it Looks super nice, so super, 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 super easy to do. But that's pretty much it for today. I know it was a quick, quick little live stream, but I just want to show you guys uh, how to use this stencil. Again, it's available, mikesbrush.com. Um, <clears throat> I do appreciate all your orders, and again, it goes towards helping you guys learn because we just make more videos using that money. Um, so, yeah. Appreciate you guys uh, and all your orders. You guys have been really awesome. Um, and yeah, uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're watching live, I do appreciate you. Thank you for coming in. So we got Thomas Thompson, we got Paul Tarchala, Stephen Ward, uh, members of the, the Skull Squad there joining in. So if you want to help this channel, uh, you could always consider, uh, you know, hitting that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. And then you can always consider joining the Skull Squad down below so you can get a nice skull next to your name in the chat whenever we're live. Um, it's fixing to be winter, so we're going to be live a lot, hopefully. Um, and yeah, hopefully this stencil helps you guys out. It's available. Uh, and yeah, good luck to all you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later, later, everybody. <laughs>